Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss a thing. I just wanted to do a little bit of a recap of our visit Saturday to the Cincinnati Museum Center. It was a really great time. Great history lesson, really enjoyed it. Let's dive into it. I felt like for most of the time I had the place to myself. What's really nice is you have a bunch of the tour guides that are there waiting with you. Like they, I had a guy who was standing right next to me and he knew what I was doing. He knew I was filming and everything. And when I would stop, he would ask me if I had any more questions. One thing I wish I would have done differently is I wish I would have gone to the museum first, toured it out a little bit, got a good feel of all the changes, because there are a lot of changes that we'll go over with here in just a few minutes. But the one thing I wanted to point out is I was so amazed by everything in there. Like, it had been a long time. I don't even know how many years, 15 years maybe. The dinosaurs were awesome. Um, they're constantly building up new things with the dino exhibit. Uh, it is just one exhibit now, but it's a lot bigger than it used to be. Every now and then, they'll have a exclusive dinosaur exhibit. The Torvosaurus, the Confuciosaurus, all the different ones that we checked out. The Galapagos. It was hard for me to put everything on video because I was really excited to get all this history information myself. And... I, it was hard to translate it on video. I probably took about an hour and a half worth of footage that I had to condense into 38 minutes. If you haven't watched the video of me touring the museum, the Cincinnati Museum Center, I'll leave a link in the video description below. Make sure you check that out. Uh, this is more of a recap and review of that video. It was a really great time. I felt like I didn't really know, like I should have done one video for each thing. Now the dinosaur exhibit was a little smaller than I thought it would be. So that's why we toured into the the NASA Apollo 11 exhibit. What really impressed me was all the science behind it. It's like the museum does a really great job of tying science in everything. And I guess because I'm a little older now that I appreciate this more than I did when I was younger. But the museum is just fantastic. Uh, we're going to go over some of the prices in case you want to visit the museum. Like I said in the last video, this museum is world-renowned. A lot of people know these people. A lot of people know the famous archaeologist there, the paleontologist. One of the paleontologists was in the lab that I was showing behind the, the glass of the paleontology lab that I, I didn't ask, but in the video, it sure looks like a Triceratops skull that he's working on. Too cool. I wanted to tour everything. If I wasn't worried about filming, I would have probably done the whole... I, I would have stayed the whole day. I was there for about three hours. I know it doesn't... You can't tell on the video because I edited a lot out of it because a lot of it's kind of me talking with people. They are expanding on their dinosaur exhibit. Now, I know a lot of people are wanting to see the Maya exhibit. Um, I didn't want to do that. On this last trip, we're going to try and do it before the exhibit leaves. It looks like it's going to be here for a little while. Sounds like something that's going to be really interesting. I was reading a little bit through the article. It's got a lot of the Mayan gold, a lot of the Mayan ruins, pieces of stone where where a lot of this stuff was kept. Sounds really interesting. We may do a video on it. It's $21 just for that exhibit. Any exclusive exhibit at the Cincinnati Museum Center is going to cost a little more. That doesn't include general admission. Regular admission includes the natural history museum, the natural history and science part of the museum, and the Cincinnati History Museum, which the Cincinnati History Museum is what Cincinnati, how Cincinnati has developed over the years, what it looked like in the 1800s, 1900s, and how it's improving and looking today. A lot of good history around here with like the steamboats and stuff like that, the old train systems, the bridges. Children's Museum is under that category too. So for $15 you get the Natural History and Science Museum, the Cincinnati History Museum, and the Children's Museum. Now, the Children's Museum is closed right now, which I did say in the last video, but it's supposed to be reopening soon. And also they have a ice cavern that they have built that's supposed to be opening soon that is down by where the cave area that I showed you which come to find out that cave is 500 feet 500 feet of twists and turns through a cave I didn't realize it was that big um, really cool 
Wasn't able to go in there Saturday, but the lady at the front had told me that it's it should be opening soon. Plus, we saw the social distancing markers to the entrance to the cave. So that tells me that they, they're they probably getting ready to open it here. Now, I know kids are really excited to go to the Children's Museum. There's a lot of fun, interactive stuff. The reason why it's closed is because there's a lot of tight quarters and they don't want big groups in that one area. And that's kind of understandable because, like I said, it's kind of it's kind of tight. There's no real one way to go in and out. You have to go in and out the same direction, which is another thing that's really awesome about the way the rest of the museum works is they have it designed now where you go in one entrance and then you come out and exit. On a normal day basis, you can go in and out whichever direction you want. I know with the natural history part of the museum, they try to get you to follow the path anyway, but with the Cincinnati history part, that's a little tricky because they have the exit at the bottom floor and you have to enter through the main level up there by the dome and the main entrance. I'm a science nerd. I, <laughs> I love everything about it and they dive into everything from the moons to the stars, all kinds of astronomy, all kinds of geology too. You know, if rocks are your thing, you know, they have rocks that are millions and millions and millions of years old. And I'll, I'll tell you, that, that fossil exhibit thing that I went over that was on the wall next to the lab in the video, that's incredible. 450 million years ago, right here in Cincinnati. I'm also a huge fan of dinosaurs. And the dinosaurs that they have there, the dinosaur bones, the way that they construct them, the way that they preserve them, there is so much information that I, that I never knew that if you love dinosaurs, this is the place to visit because these guys know everything about them. I know a lot of people are wanting me to do the Maya exhibit and everything. I may try to get to that here in a couple weeks. I have something else coming up this weekend, um, so we'll discuss that later. But I, I do want to try to do the Mayan exhibit. I really want to do the trains. The train station is what this place is most famous for. They built, they started building Union Terminal in 1931. I say all this in my last video, but I'm going to recap. Union Terminal opened up in 1933 for passengers. And the, one of the most interesting things about that is that this was kind of a central location where people would revisit their families. And one of the biggest ones being World War II. This is where all the families of Cincinnati came. Union Terminal. When, when World War II was over and all the soldiers were coming back. That's where everybody gathered. It was a huge celebration. I love the history of trains. Union Terminal is really cool looking out there on the platform. You can see like all the train yard up there and everything. I didn't want to go back there in the last video. Like I said, I can only touch on so many things at once. There's so much stuff to do there. I could do an entire video on the actual Union Terminal, which is now Amtrak train station. Passenger trains at Union Terminal stopped in 1972 and then it didn't reopen again for passenger trains until 1991. I don't really want to make a long video here. I'm just doing a little recap and review of everything we did at the museum. It was a great time. Had a blast. The cafeteria, the food there was fantastic. I expect some cheap burger, a dollar type hot dog. You know, I mean, I it's a museum. I didn't really expect like a gourmet meal. Gourmet, it was. I got that giant burger, the salad, it was like $10. And I mean, I, I couldn't believe that it was that cheap. So it, I'm glad to know now that whenever I visit the museum that they have a really nice cafeteria where I can go get a decent meal for cheap. And you will get hungry because you do do a lot of walking. With all the stuff going on right now, you know, they really try to keep you on one single path. So if you want to cut away, you really can't. You got to kind of go around. I'm sure they'll let you out. Like if you just want to do the dinosaur part and then come out that way and then go back and do the Cincinnati history. Um, that one, I'm not sure. We didn't get to touch on that one. You might have to go out through the bottom. But if you do it the way I did it, it is a, it's a lot of walking. You really don't notice it. I mean... You are so amazed by everything around you. If you're a history buff like I am, you're going to love this place. Okay, so that's my review of the Cincinnati Museum Center. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite museum is. Uh, this one I highly recommend. Cincinnati Museum Center is top-notch. 
you will not be disappointed. $15, even just for the two museums right now, the Cincinnati History Museum and the Natural History and Science, I feel that's well worth $15. It's an amazing place. They have a lot of amazing things. That gift shop was really cool too. A lot of different toys for kids, a lot of different toys for adults. Really cool stuff. A lot of NASA merchandise, which I thought was pretty neat. A lot of NASA mugs and um, dehydrated ice cream bars. Whether you want to see the Maya exhibit or just the regular museum, it's an incredible place. Anything you do there, I promise you're going to have a great time. With all that being said, I'm out. And remember, the adventure is out there.